hello friends, it's Sarah here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a champagne and pink nail design for New Year. If you are new here, click subscribe and the bell next to it to be notified when I post, because I will be doing giveaways for my notification squad. Make sure you watch to the end to find out how to enter the giveaway. Let's get started! Okay, for this set, I use the Extreme Coffin Tips. As you guys can see, they're quite long. I'm gonna apply a clear base to this set. I always do that on my clients. So I'm gonna apply just a super thin clear base, uh, fade it just a little bit down the nail, and that way it'll just make it easier, more comfortable to file the nails and shape them, as well as give a clear base for when the customer comes back for a fill. I'm gonna use my Glitter Bells glass slippers. I'm gonna use my new dish. We sell these on our website as well as my Glitter Bells Violet Mommer. Okay, I'm placing down a medium wet bead. See how it won't move? You don't want it to be like sliding around. So I've got my brush wet. I'm just gonna push this up towards the cuticle area. And then I'm just gonna blend this down over the tip. This doesn't need to be perfect because this is just a clear base. Place that down. Clean off my brush and get close to the skin without touching it. Clean off your brush and then pull that down. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna let this dry. I would work on her other hand and do the same thing and then come back and shape these. Okay, I still wanna keep this set quite long, so I'm just going to trim them a little, just a little bit. Cause like I said, I want these long. And then we're gonna use our Glitter Bells files uh, to file the shape. So I'm gonna go into the side wall first. Just bring that in, like so. Always wanna hold your client's finger when you're filing, um, just so it doesn't feel awful and uncomfortable. And then obviously, straighten up the tip from these tip cutters. And then I'm gonna go over this whole thing. Go up and down to smooth things out as well. So I go around the cuticle area, around, and then file five, 
go around the side. And then up and down. So you want to make sure your clear base is super thin like I did. And that way you really just don't have a lot to do here. You're just shaping. so far but it's all dusty and we're gonna clean off the dust we're gonna cleanse with a lint free wipe and some alcohol okay so i'm gonna add some of the dust rose cover kind of like a cover pink fade on the ring finger so i'm picking up a bead placing it at the cuticle area and yeah taking off my brush i cleaned off my brush and then I'm just using my wet brush to push this close to the cuticle area and fade this down the nail. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna do a marble. I'm also using Eyes on Me, Champagne Gold, Chunky Gold, and White Satin, and possibly Sugar Honey. On the pinky, I'm gonna do a fade of my champagne. It's gonna go to the cuticle area. Got this color, beautiful. It's like a shimmery champagne color. close to the cuticle area and I'm just fading that down. Like so. A little goes a long way with this color. <laughs> I'm just gonna um, take that same color on this nail and just place it here so that I can kind of Fade this along and kind of brush the glitter up and then fade that down. So I'm going to go in with Eyes on Me at the tip of this nail. Fade this up. Adding more monomer. You want to make sure your monomer just always has clean monomer in it or else your brush will get sticky. I'm gonna do a full marble nail. So before I go in and do a marble, I like to take like two colors and just smear them together randomly and push that close to the cuticle area. This doesn't need to be perfect or anything. It's just so you have a nice clean cuticle area before you go in and do a marble. So it doesn't matter what this looks like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going in with all the colors for this. So the nude as well, so the dusty rose. So that's gonna go down. That dries fast, that one. So I'm gonna go right in with the white and pull these together. Whoops, I have way too much liquid. liquid. <laughs> Let's do that again. Okay, place down dusty rose, pick up a little of the white and drain it, place that down, wipe off my brush, and now I'm gonna pull that through. 
active test tubing. Hmm, that's not turning out exactly what I want, so let's go over top of it. <laughs> The fun thing about marble with acrylic is you can just keep going until you're happy with the way it looks. <laughs> Super easy. But I always like to go from the right corner up this way down to the left. And I always add glitter after. I just like to do the marbling with like the colors um, and the shimmers and then add glitter after. I just find it a little easier to move everything around the way that you're going to want to move it around. But if you have glitter in there, it kind of sometimes messes things up. Sometimes it looks really cool, but sometimes it messes things up. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. I'm going to go in with the eyes on me and randomly place it where I want it. And then I'm also going to go in over top of that with the sugar honey glitter, I think. And then the champagne, got the cuticle area here. Clean off my brush. And fade this down. Then I'm just going to place sugar honey with the uh, uh, clear acrylic. Maybe it'll create kind of a clear look. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Just because it's just loose glitter and there's no acrylic in it. That's pretty. I like that. <laughs> I'm going to add the chunky gold now. The cute little area. And fade this into the sugar honey. Because they're both kind of chunky and they kind of go together. It's really pretty. So this is where we're at so far. I am going to add eyes on me right here. And then I'm going to cover it with the um, chunky glitter. For the tip. I'm like loving this, but I feel like I need to add more of that sugar honey. So I think I'm gonna add it onto the pinky. Um, oh, well, I accidentally put that down, so let's just go with that. <laughs> that just slipped right off my brush, that was funny. Okay, so this nail has got the sugar honey on it. I wasn't sure, but there we go, pretty. This is what this set looks like so far. Wow, these are so pretty. So we're gonna encapsulate this using my Glitter Bells Clear. When I'm doing long nails like this, I always encapsulate my tip first. Then I go into the cuticle area and do the apex. Just 
because they're so long. So you want to make sure that all your color is covered first. So I just want to bend the finger down like I'm doing to make sure that your bead doesn't slide into your cuticle area because that's just a mess. You don't want it to touch your client's skin and also it's just harder to file nails that make a mess like that. So fade this down and then I can add more for an apex. I always like to make sure, like I said, the tip is nice and even. And so when I'm filing, it's going to be nice and even. So I'm going to do that to the rest of these. Again, only applying at the tip first to build up, and then going in at the cuticle area and an apex. Okay, wow, these are so pretty. So here's how they look so far. We're gonna let this dry and then we'll finish file. Okay, so these are ready to be filed. As you can see, I do try to apply as close and clean as possible so I have minimal finish filing to do. Just using a small carbide bit. And I'm just going to debulk the nails around the cuticle area. I do a lot of my hand filing Oh, I'm sorry, I do a lot of my filing by hand, just so I can have more control. I basically just debulk a little with, with a file. Then I will file the rest of it I use my file to go around the cuticle area up and down at the tip and around the tip you want to always use a really light hand so you're not taking too much off Thank <laughs> you. 
So I like to file the sides thin like this around the cuticle area and I keep a lot of my apex intact so I just go around it and like I said you're really using a light hand so you really don't want to file too much off just shaping and refining the nails Okay, and when you're done shaping, you're gonna want to remove all the dust and cleanse the nails. I also buff the nails, yeah, so now we can cleanse. You wanna buff very lightly so that your top coat still sticks. So I'm cleansing all this dust off. For the crystals, I'm actually gonna be using the Moon Flare Crystals from Selena Ryden. I just got this in a PR pack, and I will show you guys um, on my other channel um, more about this. But anyways, I talked about it in my other channel, <laughs> so make sure you subscribe. So these are her two crystals that I have. They are um, Crystal AB and just Crystal. So I'm going to use uh, the Crystal AB. No, I think I'm just going to go for... I'm going to use... So crystal clear for this. Ooh, that feels really nice. I want all the sizes here. I like that they're individual so you don't accidentally mix them up, but I am gonna mix them up because I personally like to mix my crystals up. <laughs> I pick them all up with my finger anything I dropped on my mat, which is great. Okay. Moon Flare also comes with a crystal picker upper. So that's what I'm gonna use. Glue the crystals on. I am gonna use my Glitter Balls Effortless Glue. I'm just gonna actually dump a little out so that I can find the sizes that I want. That's actually really handy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add crystals like a design along this nail. So I just do a bead of glue and then apply a crystal quickly before the bead dries. This glue dries pretty quickly, so you're gonna wanna work fast. And then I'm going around up on the top here. And then around the side. Obviously, I have to have more of these crystals, right? Like, you can't just have one nail. So, let's add some more. Just for fun. Why not?
I'm just gonna clean up, which should be pretty easy considering I have my little mat. So I'm gonna fold it and then dump. And bam. So I am gonna use my Glitter Balls No Wipe Top Coat for this set. You're gonna to wanna to go around the crystals, not on top of them. So I'm grabbing my palette here, just to put a little bit of top coat on it to get around the crystals with. And I have my Glitter Balls um, gel brush as well. I'm just applying a super thin amount on this nail. I'm actually gonna also, this nail see-through. Uh, so I'm gonna apply it just a little bit underneath too. And then I'll go in at the end around with that small brush. Just gonna add a very small amount. Okay, I'm gonna cure these. Okay, so here is how that set turned out. I'll make sure to link everything used in this set down below. I think these turned out really pretty. A perfect like champagne set for the new year. What do you guys think? What should I do next? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If anything you liked in this video, make sure you check my description box because I post everything linked down below. Also, I have a giveaway for my notification squad. Today's giveaway is a acrylic glitter bell starter kit. So how to win? Well, you need to be subscribed and have notifications on. And give me a pink heart down below with a comment. And also, I will pick the winner within about two to three hours. My last winner was Tiffany Armstrong. Also, make sure you check out my new channel I just created called Small Shop Secrets. Oh, that's going to be hard to say. Small Shop Secrets. Um, and <laughs> I'm just going to be doing more behind the scenes and vlogs. So all the vlogs I was doing on this channel, I'm actually going to be doing them on that channel instead and just keep this channel my nail art channel. There will be giveaways on that channel as well. So make sure you guys subscribe and click that bell. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.